going on guys Jason here with YFM bringing you guys again another Forex video today I'm going to show you guys uh, signs of reversals so uh, what to look for when you think it's going to reverse how to get on the the trend how to get how to catch a new trend so the biggest sign that is going to reverse is wicks wicks are these watch let me show you Wicks on a bigger time frame is stronger because it takes more candles to make that wick. But wicks are these little lines like these. That shows signs of no power. When you have multiple wicks to the upside, you can expect it to come back down because there's no power to continue going up. So there's no reason for you to continue buying. If you see wick to the bottom side, like right here, then you can expect it to go back up because there's no power to continue going down so watch so as you can see there's one two three four wicks to the bottom and it shot up let me see if i can find okay right here one two three four five wicks to the top and it shot down wicks are a major key wicks can tell you along with other confirmations where the market's going to go. So I use wicks as one of my confirmations. I usually go for three or four, five as possible confirmations before I enter a trade. But wicks are one of the strongest ones that I use. As you can see, all of down here, look. Long wick to the bottom, no power. Long wick to the bottom, no power. Long wicks to the bottom, no power. Long wicks to the bottom, no power. Long wicks to the bottom, no power. Same thing here, long wick to the bottom. As you guys can see, this wick was all the way down. And it came all the way back up and shot all the way. So wicks tell you a big part of where the market is going to go. It shows you where the where the market is strong and, and where it's weak. So again, wicks to the top side show signs of going down. Wicks to the bottom side show signs going up. Again, another one here is like five wicks right here. Shot up. But wicks aren't, once you see a wick, doesn't mean you enter your trade order right away. Again, you have to have all your other confirmations with it. So another confirmation is a lower high or a higher low. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So if I'm, for me, the market goes like this. Markets like this. This is an uptrend. This is an uptrend. So I every time it comes, it pulls back here, I expect it to make a, a higher high, which is breaking above here, breaking this previous one. This is a higher high. I expect it to make another higher high to continue the uptrend. If it stops right here, doesn't mean I sell right away. Doesn't does not mean I sell because it can still push up, obviously. But look, so let's say we're right here, right? Market does not break, and I see five wicks to the top side on the four hour candle, four hour time frame. I see five wicks to the top side, mean, meaning there is no power to continue going up. Again, you don't, uh, for me, I would sell, but if you want another confirmation, all you got to do is wait for this, this area of support to break. This is an area of support. Once you see that break, that means structure has broken. right here so you can wait for this to break the previous higher low this is a higher low so it goes higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low once a higher low is broken market structure is broken so you can expect a re retest right here and pull down again markets not perfect like this all the time as you can see all this this is not just perfect like this. Market can come all the way back up again. Touch this area of resistance. Form another two wicks and then drop. Let me show you. So. So yeah, the, I see. Once I see market structure not continue going up. Breaking the previous higher low. I mean higher high. Then in my mind, I'm like, okay, I see it showing signs of weakness. Let me see if it can break structure. Once it breaks structure, then I have my confirmation to enter my trade. 
So let's see right here. This right here is your higher high. I expect this to come up and break this. But as you can see, it made a higher low. This is lower than this one. This one is lower than this one. So it made a higher low. This is still beneath it. It came all the way up to touch it, but it did not break. Okay, one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. I see a bearish engulfing. Another engulfing candles are my strongest confirmation for me. So if I see wicks to the top side, I see that it did not make a higher high, meaning it did not continue its trend. And I see a bearish engulfing. I'm going to sell right here. It didn't break the higher high. It had four wicks to the top side and made a bearish engulfing. I'm going to sell it. You sold it. Boom. Perfect like that. Okay, down here. Let's come back right back where, where it's at. This is an area of support. As you can see, touch, support, 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 support. So it's a strong area of support. As you can see, it came and it touched it again and bounced up. I, I would not. Um. So let's say you're in this cell all the way down. Once you see this a bullish engulfing right here, you would get out. See this blue candle that's bigger than this red one? That's when you get out because it's at a major support level. One, two, three. You can, I'm pretty sure I can go back. There's four and there's a lot more. But this bullish engulfing means that bulls now are in control you can you can sell again once this blue line breaks so let's say it came up right here and this would have came back below then you would wait for the retest and then you would sell it's right you better be safe than sorry take your profits so you're just not in you're not worried about not making money once you have a significant amount of pips of money however want however you want to take your money wise I usually look for pips and percentages. Money to me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm, I'm, I disconnected myself from the money, so I'm looking for pips and percentages. So, if I have a, let's say I have a 150 pip trade right here, I'm good. I'll take it. 150 pips is good for me. That's fine. But I can be greedy, and then it'll come all the way back up as this, as like it did right here, and I'll take 50 pips. See 100 pip, 150 pips over 150 uh, pips. I mean, you want to take the 150 pips. But there's no need to be greedy. If you're consistent over time, the money will come to you. You will get money. Just learn to be consistent and learn to follow your trading plan. So, right here, this, right here, this was a sign of reversal. Strong area support. Three times it bounced. This is a bullish engulfing. I'm gonna get out. There's no need for me to see if it's going to come up here and drop back down. Right here, once it breaks this level right here, then I most likely am going to see it go up. Because this is my higher low. This is my higher low point. Remember, in downtrends, you're looking for higher lows. I mean, lower highs, lower highs, I'm sorry. So, downtrends is like this. Same thing as uptrend, but just going down. Again, it's not perfect like this all the time. So once I see this, this is a lower high. This is an area of resistance. Once I see an area of resistance break, I'm looking for the retest to go up. Again, it's not perfect. So this can come all the way back down maybe to right here and shoot up. This right here is my lower high. It broke my lower high, came back to retest this area of support, and then it bounced, bu bounced back up and it broke. So I'm not looking for sales at this moment unless, I mean, you can probably take your profit, right? I mean, you can probably look for another sell once it hits this trend line. One, two, if it touches it right here, then you can probably look for sell. So let's say it hits this trend line and I see four wicks to the top with a bearish engulfing candle. I'm going to sell it. That's what I need for my confirmation. But unless it does that, then I'm not going to sell because this can break through easily. This can easily just break above, retest this, and then continue going up. So I want you guys to look for more confirmations and look, use wicks, use bearish engulfing candles, and use market structure pattern to see if the market is going to continue its trend or it's showing signs of reversal, of showing signs of weakness. Signs of weakness are wicks, uh, not continuing its trend. Meaning it's not making higher highs or lower uh, lower lows. 
and then um, bearish engulfing candles. Engulfing candles give you where the market's going to go. Because if you see a large blue candle, then you know bulls, meaning going up, are in power. If you see a, a large bear candle, meaning sells, that means that the uh, bears are in power. So it's going to go down. So, yeah, that's how I look for reversals. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just shoot me a message at the YFM Empire uh, Instagram. I'll put it up on the page right now. Follow me and Asus on Snapchat. I'll put it up on the screens. And thank you guys for watching.